it's pinched up between the fuel tank and the frame of things. Yep, I see it. Is it kinked? Uh, I don't know. Let me uh, put my hand up you in here. Feel for, you'll feel a kink in it, I think. Oh, yeah. I think there's like a channel that it goes into. Yeah, I put this gas tank on this morning, and the owner calls me just a few minutes ago, said that uh, the engine wouldn't go over 2,000 RPM, and uh, it started to develop a mess, and it wanted to know what the possibility of a fuel line being kinked or something like that, and looks like the odds are better than average. We'll fix it. Let's see, just lower the skid plates. Uh, yep, that'll be about it. There was the problem up there. You see where the blue line and the gray one. Then there's another one. You see where it's attached to the frame. It's a vent hose for the emissions. That was all crimped together, causing a restriction in the fuel flow. Uh, but it's all fixed now. So the only thing to do is tighten the bolts up and it's ready to go. I don't know about you, but I'd rather drive a five speed than to pull one. That too. Lighten them damn bolts. I'm trying. I just I can't see too well. Okay, why don't you go ahead and start it up and see what it does. Well, I don't know everything. You got to drive it down the road and see what do it does. what? You got to take it down the road and see what it does. Oh, I do? Well, no, I mean, you got to drive it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Else, you can rev it up all you want sitting there when you put a load on it when it does it. Okay, well, okay, well. Let's, uh, I'll start it up. They're going down the road there. Okay. Yeah. It starts up. Sounds fine. This might be kind of hard. I don't have a tripod with me. So I'm kind of he said two grand and it wouldn't go over so we're gonna we're gonna try it. kind of hard to drive and shift with my left hand. Oh well. I think it's fixed. 
Oh yeah, it's running a lot better now. Well, thanks for watching.